done. He hates the press, and, and I, I'm not a big fan of the press myself. But he's marketed this into a world famous thing. I mean, he just—it's just brilliant if you look at what he's doing. Yeah, you know, he's trademarked the crotch grab. Actually, I, I went down. Okay. Yeah, I went down to the uh, office of trademarks today. You can't get that anymore. No. He's got that. He never talks, but occasionally scores a touchdown and grabs himself. You're right. He's mastered the game. Who's doing it better than him? But he shouldn't do the uh, the uh, uh, stuff on the field because he well, actually has a camp for the kids. He doesn't want a lot of good work for kids in yeah. Oakland. He's not a bad guy. All right, let's go to uh, the snowfall. Have you ever seen? Oh yeah, you were raised in Pittsburgh, so you know snow, Miller. Right. Yeah. And Santa Barbara is sissies out there. You don't have any snow out there. No, no, but the, that was rumors of a big, big snowstorm this week. They're expecting 30 inches. It got so bad that Mayor uh, de Blasio sent his kid out that day, Dante, and told him to keep an eye out for Whitey. But, you know, it never happened, Billy. The snow never came. It came in New England, but it did not come in New York. Um, and, you know... Well, listen, it's just that high degree of certitude they have when they can't get it right from Tuesday to Wednesday. So when they tell me about the year 2057, I always go, how's about we get tomorrow down in before we start talking about the climate in 2057? Can we do that? And you know global warming caused that storm, you know that. And it caused the balls to deflate. So global warming's responsible <laughs> for everything. It inflated Gore's bank account and deflated the balls. All right, Miss USA and uh, Trump's Miss Universe contest was asked about terrorism. Roll tape. If you were given 30 seconds to deliver a message to a global terrorist, what would you say? Uh, okay. If I was given 30 seconds to give a message to the global terrorist, is that what you said? Okay. Um, I would just say that, you know, I know as Miss USA, I can only spread a message of hope and love and peace. And so I would do my very best to spread that message to them and everyone else in the world. And this year, Sid Miller, she's been nominated for uh, Secretary of Defense by President Obama. <laughs> and I was just going to say, uh, that she's a pageant gal. That's the same answer the president gives on a daily basis. It's not like she did something silly like bring James Taylor out the singer answer or pull out, pull out a restart button and ask the judges if she can start over. She's a pageant gal. God bless her. This is the same crap the White House gives us. What she should have done, Miller, was just what Marshawn Lynch did. I'm on the answer. <laughs> no, don't go. I'd vote for her. I'd vote for her. <laughs> I'm, I'm only here because I don't want to get fired. That's all. I'm not going go near that either. I'm not going anywhere near that, Billy, because I'll get fined. <laughs> all right, so wrapping this up, we're living in a country now that it's insane, is it not, Miller? I mean, yeah, that, absolutely you, insane. Every day, every day is an adventure for you. It's just crazy land. Well, you can't write this stuff, Billy. If I had to predict the big game, I'd say uh, because they don't have all the stuff going on like the Patriots do this week, I'll say Seattle, and I wouldn't be surprised if they went back to the state of Washington and instead of champagne, somebody lit up a joint in the victory parade. Whoa. That's where the country's at right now. It's not going to be because NFL has still got um, laws yeah, against it. I'm talking about Goodell's getting fine. The best. He's the new Kennesaw Landis Cadell. Doing a great job over there. All right, Dennis Miller, everybody. Just a quick note.